we, after the drape's been opened, the scrub is going to take and open the drape completely laterally like this, and it'll be narrow. You want to make sure that any writing on the drape is upright so that it can be read, because it could easily if you open it up, and it would be upside down, and then everything is backwards. So you want to make sure that all of the instructions and their hand, any writing on the drape is upright. If you look, the drape is folded like a Z-shape. You want to open that up so that those three folds are open. And again, make sure that, that any writing is upright. And then, if you want to come over here, there'll be three oculars. Okay? If you're doing a face-to-face -face procedure with a microscope like this for spine surgery, face-to-face -face type of um, configuration for spine surgery, then you're going to be using the two end oculars on the drape. The central one is not going to be used at all. So what we're going to do is we're going to get ready for draping by making sure that the microscope's in the, in the position to put the drape on. In this case, since it's face to face, we have these two oculars on either end. I want to come at the microscope so that my two end oculars are already pretty much in proximity of where they should be. So coming back to the drape, we come over here and we just start to you look inside the folds for where the little stickers are with the hands. Now most most scrub techs were taught in tech school to lead, to, to go in and grab the objective lens. So it's likely, they're likely going to want to do it this way. So I'm going to show it to you this way. And we're going to approach the microscope. And we're going to approach the microscope like this. Put the objective lens on with the flat of your palm. Make sure it's on all the way flush with the microscope. And go ahead and just start bringing the bag around. At this point, it's often not easier for the staff to lower the scope a little bit so that they don't have to reach up so high. And all we're doing is just pulling this bag. Here's my two end oculars. Here's the middle one. Remember, we're using only the two end ones in this case. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just orient my oculars. Just looking them carefully over. Same thing on the other side. them over. Yeah, I'm going to get some of the slack. And as far as the eyepieces go, you basically just want to find a ridge somewhere. Use the Velcro. Come behind the ridge on the eyepiece so that the Velcro keeps the drape on securely. Same thing here. That way, when the scrub goes to pull off the eyepieces, they won't slip off because you made it nice and snug back here. Okay, but typically, we're not going to do that first. We're going to finish the rest of the drape. Now, in this case, there's a lot of drape here. I'm going to use the first strap to actually get rid of some of this slack. want this too terribly tight because it'll bind up the microscope. So just use it there. It's okay, I'm not showing this to anyone. Okay. It's possible these have been in the warehouse a long yeah. time. Okay, so anyway, again, I'm, I'm using this to slip, just to get rid of some of this, this slack 
baggy drape. Mm -hmm. And I don't, if I make it too tight, I'm going to bind up the microscope. So I want it mm -hmm. just enough so it'll hold the drape up. And I'm going to always tape with the adhesive to the, to the, to the tape. Okay. Okay. And we'll come over here and find the next thing, the next band. Mm -hmm. And I'm just going to roll the drape up. Take once again, always stick and not too, too tight, just enough, leave a little slack so the microscope can move easily and put the adhesive onto the strap. In this case, is the last one here, same thing. I'm just going to roll up the grape. Adhesive. At this point, the nurse is going to check to make sure that there's plenty of free movement, nothing bound up or anything. And we'll go ahead and we'll finish these eye pieces. Normally, this is one of the last things that they do. Mm -hmm. And the reason for that is, is that once you've exposed these eye cups, if they have to make adjustments with the drape, they could contaminate the drape. So generally, that's the very last thing that's done is that these are pulled off. And that's it.